going up at Talofa Kiora. My name is Bertrand and today we'll be making Purini. Purini is a classic Fijian dessert and it's similar to steamed pudding. I remember my grandmother making Purini. Uh, she'd put it into a thickening cloth, wrap it firmly, put this in hot boiling water on open fire. However, today, because we're in New Zealand, we're gonna cook our Purini in an oven. So for this recipe, you will need white and brown sugar, coconut milk, coconut cream, normal flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and a little bit of orange zest and ginger. First up, we're gonna caramelize our sugars in a drying pan. You're gonna do this on medium heat and allow it to caramelize really slowly. So one of the major key ingredients is our vacalolo sauce. Um, it's attained by bringing the sugars to smoking point and then adding our coconut milk and cream. This is a good time to stir when you see that the sugars are starting to bubble. From this point, it's not long to go till it's ready. So you can tell that the sugar is ready when it's nice and silky and there are no sugar lumps. So we take this off the heat and then we gradually add the coconut milk into the sugars. So traditionally, steamed pudding is made with dairy cream and dairy milk. With purini, we use coconut milk and coconut cream. So you put this back on the heat and you want to make sure that you simmer this slowly so that everything is dissolved. So when you can't see any lumps, this is when our vacalolo sauce is ready. So we'll let this sit here and come to room temperature and we'll start on our dry ingredients. So in a clean bowl, we're gonna add all our dry ingredients. So we're gonna first start with our flour. One teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. And just the zest of an orange or mandarin. We're gonna give this a quick stir. Now that our vacalolo sauce is cool, we'll gradually add in our dry ingredients. So once everything is mixed in, you want to then put this into a greased 6 inch cake tin. So once your batter is in the cake tin, you want to grab your bain marie ready. So I've got a heavy pan, I'm going to put that in the center of the pan and then gradually add in my hot water. So we're going to fill this up to about a third of the height of the mold. And we're gonna quickly uh, cover this with aluminum foil. So from here, we're gonna put it into the oven for about an hour or until it's cooked. Cool, so our purini has been um, steam baking for about an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, my oven is pretty 
small so each oven is different so you, what you want to do is check that your skewer comes through clean cool so that's nice and clean our pudding is ready